Do you know which Pokemons to bring to uh, the one hit strat, guys? Stick around and I will show you the best Pokemons to bring to Terror Raids. So uh, the reason why I'm making this list because uh, in the last couple of days I I've seen a lot of new people uh, joining our stream. I don't know which correct Pokemons to uh, bring for the uh, one hit strats. So I thought I'll make a, a video and show you which uh, Pokemons are uh, S tier to bring to uh, one hit strats and which uh, Pokemons are uh, D tier as in D worst to bring to terror raids. So uh, without further ado guys, let's get uh, started immediately. So uh, these are all the Pokemons that uh, we use in uh, Terror Raid. Some of them are uh, are Pokemons that people have recommended me over the last couple of days to use in Terror Raids. And uh, some of them are, are definitely in the worst uh, category. So let's uh, let's start off all the way at, uh, at the top. We have the uh, Alolan Muck. Uh, Alolan Muck is a, uh, it's not a carry, it's more of a support Pokemon. It's actually a really good support Pokemon. It knows Acid Spray, it knows, uh, it knows Helping Hand, uh, Screech, uh, I think even uh, Chilled Water if I'm not uh, mistaken. So uh, the Muck for a one hit strat, I would place him in, uh, in uh, A tier. I would place him in S tier, but but there are some Pokemon that are better than the than the uh, uh, Mach to bring. So for the Mach, I'm gonna put him in uh, S tier. For the uh, the next one is the uh, Vaporeon. The uh, Vaporeon used to be a Pokemon that we used to terror raid back in the days, and uh, it's a really uh, beefy Pokemon. But is it a one hit strat Pokemon? Unfortunately, not, guys. I'm going to put this one in C tier since since it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon. It's not a Pokemon to do one hit strats with. The next one is the uh, Tandem Mouse. Uh, I see a lot of people use this uh, this this Pokemon uh, during uh, raiding and uh, and stuff like that. Me personally, I actually never use the Tandem Mouse in uh, in raids. Even though people say it's actually a really really good Pokemon, I don't see it as a good raiding Pokemon, especially not as a one-hit strat Pokemon. So uh, this one as well, I'm going to be putting in uh, in C. The uh, next one on the list is the uh, Moridon, and I don't know what to say about the Moridon, guys. The Moridon is is a little bit of a a a, a, a tricky Pokemon. You know what I mean? Uh, can it do one-hit strats? Yes and no. It, 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 under under the correct circumstances, it can do a one hit. But the problem with the Moridon is it, it takes a lot of prep to uh, to get this one to the level that it, it's gonna do a one hit. And to be really honest, uh, we have a lot better Pokemon than Moridon to to do a one hit strat uh, with. But even though I do see a lot of people using Pokemon as Moridon and Coridon for uh, terror raids. For me, uh, this one, I actually want to put it in D, but it, since it is a, a raiding Pokemon, and if you know how to build this one, it can actually be a good Pokemon. I won't put it in S tier, because since it's got a lot of build up to, to, to finally do that uh, a one hit, and for that reason, I will be putting it in the, uh, in the C uh, tier. Next one is the uh, Calyrex. Calyrex has been, uh, has been, uh, yeah, a lot of people have told me to, to use the Calyrex, that it's pretty good, it's uh, one of the best around, and stuff like that. We've tested the Calyrex ourselves, we gave it the uh, best, uh, best chances with, like, the best uh, uh, supports uh, and stuff like that. The Calyrex didn't even came close to a one hit, it needed a lot of support before it finally could uh, get going. So for me, the Calyrex, I'll Unfortunately, I will have to put it in the uh, D tier, as in D worst to bring to uh, to terror raids, and that goes uh, the same for the uh, Calyrex Ice. We have tried to test this one. We tried to give it the best uh, options uh, possible, but in the end, it failed. And it's again also like the other Pokemon. It's the worst to uh, to bring to uh, uh, terror raids. The next one I have on the list is the uh, Cryagonal. The Cryagonal is actually not a bad Pokemon. Is it a good carry? Um, not really, no. Is it a good support? Not really, no. 
What do we use the Cryagonal for? I use the Cryagonal as I call it a trigger Pokemon. So the only reason why, why we use the Cryagonal is for a Frost Breath on the Tauros or the, or the Crocodile or, or any other Pokemon that has uh, Anger Point. So for me the Cryagonal, even though it's not a sport Pokemon and it's not a carry Pokemon, uh, we call it a trigger Pokemon. And for that reason I think as a trigger pokemon usually when we have a uh, anger point strat with the correct trigger pokemon it can take one turn and since uh, it's a good pokemon to use for one hit strat it gets us that turn one uh, ko i would usually put it on s tier if it had something better like a screech or, or something else that we can take it to other raids but since it's only uh uh, useful as a trigger pokemon i unfortunately have to put it in the uh sorry i uh, i said b section not the a but b if it had more attacks i would have probably put it in a or s but since we're only using it as a trigger i think uh, b is uh, is perfect for the uh, cryagonal we have more triggers i just don't see them at the moment did i load them in apparently not the next one guys it's the uh it's the paldean tauros and the paldean tauros is one of those pokemon oh here is the other trigger one this is also a trigger pokemon we only use it for its uh th this one actually i'm gonna put a tier lower in, in c tier and the reason why i put the meows karana in c tier instead of uh, b tier because the meows karana is a little bit too powerful for a for a trigger pokemon usually it leaves the uh, pokemon almost uh, down to uh, uh, to one hp Th there was one moment that it was actually good that we used it in that way but most of the time the meows karana is a little bit too overpowered to be used as a uh, trigger pokemon but it, it, it can be used as a trigger pokemon uh, especially for the uh, fire tauros and yeah the aqua tauros is a little bit risky but but you can use it for that one as well so that's why the uh, meows karada i put in c tier as a trigger pokemon and not a uh, b tier as a as the uh, cryagonal i'm seeing the other trigger pokemon over here that's the uh, honkrow now usually i would put uh honkrow in the same uh range as this one but since we're using the honkrow only for the crocodile and since they're the same typing it does trigger anger point but it doesn't do a lot of damage on the pokemon it, it barely does any damage on the pokemon uh, itself so because it, it leaves the pokemon at a really really high uh, hp i'm actually gonna put this trigger pokemon uh, in a tier since I think it's a little bit better than the uh, Cryagonal. And yeah, speaking about what these Pokemons do, I'm calling them Trigger Pokemons. The Cryagonal, Honkrow, and the Meowth Karate. Yeah, what, what do we call a Trigger Pokemon? A Trigger Pokemon is a Pokemon that, that triggers Anger Point. For the Aqua Paldean, for the uh, Blaze Paldean, for the uh, Crocodile. Uh, and there are several more Pokemon that have Anger Point, like the uh, Camerupt I think has it as well, but we never use that one. So uh, all the Trigger Pokemons are Pokemon that can do a one hit uh, KO. One hit in the first turn most of the time. And, and since they're doing a one hit in the first time, I'm gonna put them all the way in, in S tier. <laughs> uh most of the times when we come with the paldean uh, tauros you see it literally takes one turn if everybody knows what his uh, what his uh, role is it, it could be literally one turn and if you guys saw what we did uh, during the uh was that the real boom yeah i think it was uh i forgot which one it was <laughs> But the Paldean Tauros did really, really good. Also, the same thing for the uh, Fire Tauros. It's uh, it's also an Anger Point Pokemon. And if you set these Pokemons uh, up correctly, they can do a one-hit turn one. And, and that's what makes these uh, these two Tauros uh, S tier. You know, the best Pokemons you can bring to a, uh, a Terror Raid. Same thing goes for the Crocodile. The Crocodile has Anger Point. It has, uh, it has a Power Trip. So uh, plus six on the power trip, it does insane damage. Even if you give it an item like a, like a weakness policy to give it that plus two to uh, to uh, raise your uh, power trip even more. 
the uh, crocodile as i said just like the uh, paldean taro uh, paldean aquataros and the paldean uh, blaze taros is an s tier pokemon it never fails this mission if you know how to put it up correctly it could be a beast on the battlefield next one i have over here guys it's the uh, ursaluna and uh yeah the same thing goes for the ursaluna if you pair him with the correct pokemons he can do a lot of damage you know, uh, if you give him uh, the ability Guts with a uh, Flame Orb, uh, Belly Drum plus 6, it's, it's an absolute beast. The only problem that I have with the Ursaluna is the fact that it does Belly Drum and it leaves it really, really vulnerable. So, I, I would say, like, if you're doing this uh, with a team, it, it's definitely S tier. If you're doing this solo, it's got, it's going to be more of a A tier or B tier, but doing this uh, with a team... The uh, Ursaluna has uh, has uh, great potential. Belly drum, guts goes off with the uh, with the flame orb. You uh, go in after uh, two screeches and an attack chair. It's most of the time KOs. If he doesn't do a KO, you always have like a, like a carry or like a supporter that can give you a heal chair. Just give him a little bit more of that uh, survivability. Next one I have on the list, guys, is it, it's the Kyogre. And the uh, Kyogre, it, it, yeah, this is a, a little bit of a difficult one because it, it can do a lot of damage to Kyogre, but it, it does need a lot of build. Uh, you know what, I, I'm going to give it A tier because it is actually a Pokemon that does a lot, a lot of damage on your opponent. But the reason why I, I put this one in A tier rather than in S tier because there is a water Pokemon that does a lot more damage than the, uh, than the Kyogre and a lot more safer as well don't see him on the list as well i don't know what i did with it but the next pokemon i have guys is the uh uranguru uranguru is a support pokemon and uh, I i'm gonna put this uh, support pokemon really high on the list I i'll be putting it in uh, in uh you know what i'm gonna put it in b tier because uh, even though it's actually a really really good pokemon we call it a one trick pony we use it only for one trick and one trick only uh this one we use with the azumarill like when the azumarill does a belly drum and he consumes his citrus berry the oranguru has the uh, ability uh, symbiosis will pass uh which will pass its item to the uh, azumarill once he doesn't have a uh, item anymore and you can give it a wide variety of uh, items usually what we do is we use the uh, a choice uh, choice band to give the Azumarill the choice band or, or to give him like a shell bell or, or a life orb and this this makes the Uranguru almost uh, unmissable in a uh, strat with the uh, Azumarill so the uh, Uranguru I, I would have placed it higher if it had attacks like Screech, Fake Tears uh, and stuff that can lower your opponent's uh, defense and special defense but since it doesn't have that unfortunately I will put it in the B tier Next one, guys, is the uh, Corviknight and the Corviknight. <coughs> sorry, and the Corviknight tonight. We had a huge discussion whether it should be a, 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 in B tier or in A tier or in C tier. I would put it in B tier because the thing is, we barely use the Corviknight, and the Corviknight only has Screech and it has the ability Magic Bounce or something like that. It, it basically uh, is good when we're fighting a Pokemon that uh, that blocks Screech or that blocks uh, Fake Tears. It, it's really good to bring the Corviknight because he uh, he can go uh, through that. I think it was. Uh, a magic bounce or something that uh, that uh, bounces off a uh, screech but but the corvanite was uh immune for that i actually have no idea how it works guys if you know how it works please leave it in the comments uh, below because i would really really love to know how the corvanite uh, we had a huge discussion about the corvanite uh, tonight but in the end i will put it in uh, in b tier because uh, yeah there are a lot better Pokemons to use for Screech and Fake Tears and Pokemons that, that are uh, support Pokemons in general. And guys, if you don't agree with me on, the, uh, uh, on this list, please leave it in the comments uh, below. I would like to hear your opinion uh, on the list. I would like to hear your opinions on the Pokemons that we're bringing. And I would like to hear which Pokemons you are bringing to Terror Raids. And uh, let's, let's continue with this, uh, with this tier list. So the next one I have over here, it's the uh, Eternus. To be really honest, we had the Eternus for one strat. 
that was against the uh, Dell Fox. We actually never uh, did it. We actually never test out, uh, tested out the uh, strat. But uh, later on, we used it just against regular six-star terror raids, and it wasn't doing a one-hit. And uh, yeah, the fact that it wasn't doing a one hit, it, it needed a lot of preparation before it, it could finally do damage and, and be a Pokemon that uh, that you can count on. And since it, it needs a lot of prep to, 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 to just do damage in, in general, not even to do a one hit, I will be putting it in the uh, D tier as the worst Pokemon to bring to a Terror Raid. The next one is the uh, the Elga and the Elga the same thing. We've tested it out a lot. We uh, tried to do uh, to, to give it the best option to do a one hit strat or just to knock out a, a Pokemon in a six strat in a decent time. And the Elga in my eyes uh, uh, failed as well. It's uh, it's not a really good raid Pokemon to bring. It, it doesn't uh, it doesn't do the job to be really honest. And for that reason, I will do the same thing as the Eternus, put it in the uh, a D tier, the worst Pokemon to bring to uh, to a Terror Raid, and uh, that brings us to the uh, Crabobnable. The uh, Crabobnable, just like the Tauros, the Crocodile, uh, it has Anger Point. So, like, if you hit it with a super, uh, if you hit it with a uh, move that it's uh, weak to, am I saying it correct? Or no, that, that would usually crit, so if it's a move that would crit on the Pokemon, it will give it plus 6 in uh, in attack. And because it's got that uh, plus 6 in attack, uh, it, I would usually put it on uh, S tier. But since this is a Pokemon we don't use a lot, and every time we brought this Pokemon, it, it, it didn't succeed in doing the one hit, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah... It's a fighting type, so usually for a fighting type, I would rather bring the uh, uh, Tauroses. Usually we just bring it for the Ice type, and the fact that it always actually sort of fails when we bring it. I unfortunately have to put this one in B tier. I would even put it in C tier, you know, but since it has the Anger Point, and it, it can go off, and it can do a one hit, I, I, I'll put it in B tier. <laughs> I'll, I'll be a little bit uh, generous with this one. The next one, guys, is the uh, Fenonet. The Fenonet is more of a support Pokemon. Uh, we bring this one for uh, Screech, and and the reason why uh, it, it's it's here in general. I, I really fell in love with the Fenonet the last couple of days. You know, it has the ability uh, uh, Compound Eyes, which hugely increases its uh, its uh, its uh, ability to land a Screech. I think it's a hundred and ten percent, if I'm not mistaken. And at the moment, I actually feel that the Venonat is one of the best Pokemons to bring as a Screech Pokemon. Too bad it has low uh, survivability, and it only has Screech. It doesn't have Fake Tears, it doesn't have other attacks that could make it a uh, uh, viable Pokemon. So for that reason, I I'm going to put the Venonat as a support in B tier. Next Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemons is a, uh, as a support. If not... I would say this is the best, if not the best Pokemon to bring uh, as, as a, uh, as a uh, support, the uh, Umbreon. I will put him in S tier, and the reason why I'm putting Umbreon is in S tier. It, he's just too dangerous. A lot of times when I'm making the videos on the next 7 star uh, strat, you will always hear me. It doesn't matter how you train the Umbreon, whether it's in special defense or defense. The Umbreon has such a high survivability. Most of the times, it's the only uh, support Pokemon standing on the field, where when other support Pokemon ca can't uh, can't uh, handle the pressure. And not only that, that, that it has huge survivability, but it has a huge range uh, of uh, support uh, attacks that it can use. It can use Skill Swap. It can use Fake Tears, uh, a Screech, uh, Sunny Day, uh, Rain Dance. It has a huge variety of, of, of support attacks that it can bring. And that's why Umbreon is one of my favorites. No, it is my favorite. It is my favorite support of all time. Because of his survivability and his huge attack pool of uh, attacks that he can bring to the uh, table. So if you bring a, a Umbreon to, uh, to one of my uh, terror raids, I already know it's going to go great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next one on the list, guys, it's uh, the Hoppa. The Hoppa we, uh, we we used in the last raid against uh, Mewtwo, and it failed horribly. 
you know what i mean it, it needs a lot of setup it, it's it's yeah it's on the one side very bulky but then you have attacks that can one hit it and uh also the fact we cannot we cannot get a hop up for every person in the guild you know what i mean most of the time when we do terror raid we try to get these pokemons for our community but yeah the hop up is just a little bit hard to get by and basically useless to say it in that way so for the hopa same thing guys it's gonna go in the t uh, in the d tier as in the worst pokemon to bring to a uh, terror raid and again guys if you don't agree with me on the list let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your opinion on the uh, on the uh, hopa the next one on the list guys it's uh iron hands and iron hands just like the umbreon has a really really special uh, place in uh, in my heart when I started streaming and I was basically a noob, if it wasn't for the Iron Hand, I, I wouldn't be able to do a terror raids back in the days. The thing is about the uh, Iron Hand, it's got the item the energy booster, which gives it that 30% on, uh, on its uh, attack. And even if you don't use the energy booster, you, you can bring a Pokemon that can set up Sunny Day, like, like Umbreon, as I was uh, saying, or, or a Coridon. And you don't you don't need to give it that uh, energy booster. You can give it an item like like a uh, like a Life Orb or something like that. Uh, you can uh, use a uh, Citrus Berry, uh, use Belly Drop, and then have the uh, Uranguru pass its item to uh, Iron Hand. So Iron Hand is a really uh, really bulky pokemon with a lot of attack that that, that most of the time gets that uh, one hit uh, done the uh, iron hand we use the same way as we use the ursaluna so it's basically a uh, belly drum and, and then going in with uh, with either uh, wild charge uh, or close combat this one is really dangerous we don't use it a lot like we used to do back in the days because we have a lot more uh, pokemons to uh, to bring to the table but back in the days if it wasn't for iron hand i wouldn't be uh, i wouldn't be doing uh, terror raids as as good i was doing them uh, back then so uh, iron hand i would definitely recommend having one in your arsenal if you don't have one yet start catching one tonight the next one guys it's a magic carp and you think yeah that's probably d tier but you would be surprised at how high i'm gonna put this magic carp up the list to be really honest i want to put it in s tier but i think that would be a little bit ridiculous but i am putting it in a tier and the reason why uh, we're actually using the magic carp in the first place you're gonna think hell and splash how is this gonna be beneficial if you're doing a terror raid where you're fighting a ditto uh, if the uh, if the host can come on a magic carp it would be perfect magic carp only has splash preferably level one as soon as you come into the uh, uh, into the terror raid the ditto is going to copy the magic carp it's level one magic carp knows only splash so uh, actually i am going to put it in s tier to be really honest and the reason why i'm going to put it in s tier it, it, it because it, it gives so great defense to your other pokemons the fact that the ditto can only use splash the, the fact that it's only level one gives your other pokemon such a high not such a high but it's a hundred percent guarantee that they're going to stay on the battlefield and not be knocked out by the very first attack that uh, comes their way so uh, the magic carp guys weird as it seems is an S tier Pokemon to bring to Terror Raids. If you're doing Terror Raids with me, guys, and we're fighting a Ditto and you're hosting, you better bring that Magic Carp. And uh, yeah, Magic Carp. The next one, guys, is the uh, Stone Journer. For uh, people that have been with me on uh, on stream uh, or saw me uh, do the uh, one hit strat with the Anger Point Pokemon, then you already know that the uh, Stone Journer is a huge. Uh, a part of that uh, strat stone jr has the ability uh power spot if i'm not mistaken it was a 0.3 multiplier on your uh, damage I, I would put it as high as a tier or, or b tier but since yeah i think i'll put it b tier usually i would put it at, at a or s since we're using it for the anger pot but since it, it, it only comes for that uh, you know what i'm gonna put it in a since it's the only Pokemon that actually has Power Spot, and uh, yeah, we always make this joke on stream uh, that the uh, Stone Journey has to do one thing and one thing only, just to stand there menacingly. You know what I mean? 
and for it to just stand there menacingly and still win us the game it definitely deserves a spot the next one is the uh, cloister i don't know who gave me this pokemon to put in the list but but the cloister guys it, it's not a t it's not a rating pokemon and it's definitely not a pokemon that's gonna do a one-hit strat so for the closer unfortunately i'm gonna put it in d tier as in the worst pokemon to bring to the raids the next one on the list guys it's it's goldango and goldango uh, i see a lot of people playing goldango and they don't know how to play uh, goldango and they keep losing in terror raids and they keep uh, blaming oh goldango is a bad pokemon goldango is a bad pokemon now uh, goldango is a master i'm gonna put goldango all the way at the top why am i putting goldango all the way at the top well first and foremost goldango has as good as gold so he has a higher chance of not being put to sleep, not being put to uh, uh, paralyze, not not. Uh, yeah, basically he, he's immune to everything. Like not necessarily immune, but everything that 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 could, could that could have a status condition on him doesn't uh, doesn't uh, work on it. But with that also said, be careful because attacks like. Uh, What's it called again? Life two will not work on him. Like any like any other attack that, that would usually heal him, will not heal him. A helping hand will not work on the Goldango. And still I am putting him so so high up the list. And the reason why we put the Goldango so high in the list is because of this guy over here. And this guy, I, I'm just gonna put him right with Goldango. These two are a pair. And what I mean with a pair, you have the Peserker. The Peserker has the uh, ability Steely Spirit. And what, what Steely Spirit does, it, it gives 0.50% uh, boost to Steel-type moves. So if you have three Berserkers on the field, that's a 1.5 uh, multiplier on, uh, on uh, Steel-type moves. So, uh, yeah, three times uh, Steely Spirit, uh, Goldengo, or no, sorry, three times Steely Spirit with three fake tears, and Goldengo goes in with the attack, uh, make a train, KO, all of the time. I've never seen a Goldengo not do that one hit. So as I said, these two are a pair. The Peserker is the same thing. If, if I was going to put a uh, Peserker in this uh, list, I would actually put him in S tier. If, if it was just a Peserker alone, I would put him in S tier. He knows Screech, he knows Fake, he knows Helping Hand. He has a little bit of a problem with uh, Survival. You know what? I, I'm gonna, I, I, would, I would put him in B tier. You know, I would give him that uh, that uh, benefit of the doubt. I would even give him, put him in, in D tier. But since the Berserker works so well with the Goldango, they're basically a tag team. These two together are dangerous. Are really, really dangerous. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the uh, Tinkaton. The uh, Tinkaton I would be placing in B tier because uh, even though uh, even though it's not a really really strong uh, Pokemon, the Tinkaton you actually can do a one hit uh, a strat with the uh, Tinkaton, and you know what? I'm just gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it on the other side of Berserker and I'm gonna put him one into the other. So these two Pokemons, like the Goldengo and the uh, and the Tink, would actually be really really bad Pokemons, but thanks to Goldengo, uh, he makes them like really really uh, honorable mentions. I don't wanna say like they're the best. Uh, just like how the uh, uh, Berserker is powering up the uh, Goldengo with uh, with uh, three uh, fake tears and uh, three times uh, Steely Spirit before the Goldengo uh, goes in, it's basically the same thing with the uh, with the Tinkaton. The Tinkaton has a uh, ability called Own Tempo. So the way this one works is just the uh, Berserker. Uh, like you have three Berserkers again. All three put uh, put uh, Swagger on the uh, Tinkaton, which is going to increase its uh, attack. But since it's got own tempo, it's not going to get confused uh, by uh, by uh, Swagger. Yeah, and if you land three Swaggers on it with the uh, attack uh, Gigaton Hammer, which is also a Steel type move that gets boosted up again by the uh, uh, Berserker, um, yeah, it makes the uh, Tinkaton a force to be reckoned with. The next one on the list, again, this is a Pokemon that, that somebody sent me. I don't know if they were just sending it for jokes <laughs> or anything like that. Today in Discord, I was preparing this list and I was asking uh, our community in Discord and they said Blissey. <laughs> I think they were just trolling me. 
because uh, Blissey is one of those Pokemon that are the worst to bring to Terror Raids. It, it, it has an awful defense. I think it was 15 or something like the most awful uh, number you can have on a Pokemon is the Blissey. It has a really high special uh, special uh, defense, but yeah, it, it doesn't have really good attacks to start off with. You know, it, it has a boiled egg, I think the other one is called, which, which is really not good of a, a healing move since it heals your opponent as well so the blissey i will put in a d tier as in the worst pokemon to bring worse than all these other pokemon the blissey is the worst one you can bring guys the next one is the uh, hisuian samurai to be really honest we haven't used hisuian samurai in the past that often we were actually uh, yeah if you saw my previous videos then you have seen that i, I uh, I recommended uh, using the Hisuian Samurai against the Mewtwo. That was, of course, before we knew that uh, he would have a 50% uh, on his uh, on his uh, on his armor or on his uh, shield. So we tried it against the Mewtwo. It, it sort of failed, but I'm still gonna give it a really, really high uh, a spot in this uh, list because it's a really good Pokemon. It can learn Swords Dances. It can learn attacks like uh, Screech to lower your opponent's uh, 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 defense. So it, it, it's not a bad Pokemon. We haven't used it in the past, but since it can use Swords Dance and it, it can boost up its uh, attacks you can always yeah, pair it up with an umbreon or pair it up with a uh, with a cat and uh, i think the uh, hisuian uh, samurai will do great even though we haven't tested it out yet i think he will do fine <laughs> next one guys is the uh, koridon the uh, koridon just like the moridon in my opinion it's not really a raiding pokemon you know i see a lot of people bringing this one especially during stream when we're trying to do a one-hit strat and then they bring the Korida and oh yeah do, do this for me do this do this and then when he's ready to attack you see that he gets nowhere near that uh, near that one hit I would place it in the worst Pokemon to bring to Terror Raid but since the Korida can actually learn Screech and it can set up the Sun as soon as it, it, it comes up uh, in, in battle I will put it i will put it on a b not as a carry but as a support pokemon as a support pokemon uh Kurada can be very good like setting up uh, the sun as soon as he comes in so that you can put a, a different item on the iron hands rather than a uh, rather than a uh, what's it called uh, energy booster so the Kuradan will help you out uh, set up the sun for for uh, iron hands if necessary but yeah the thing is i would rather bring an umbreon because the umbreon has such a huge uh, variety of attacks so for me it would be the umbreon rather than the Kuradan, and that's why i have the Kuradan low but to be really honest i'm even gonna put it in c tier and the reason why is every time somebody brings a Kuradan to a uh, terror raid we end up wiping you know what i mean and because of that, unfortunately, I have to put it in a, in the C tier. And guys, I, I'm rating Pokemon's very, very low that people bring to Terror Raids and that they're really, really proud of. If you disagree with me, guys, leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear your reason why, like, you think the Kurida would be better or, or would be worse. Or if you disagree with my uh, with my list, please let me know in the list below. I would love to hear your uh, your reasoning behind uh, everything. So uh, the next one on the list, uh, list guys, is the uh, Toxicroak. And... Uh, we actually used this one for a uh, terror raid. I, I just forgot which seven star terror raid we used this one uh, against. But to be really honest, he didn't he didn't uh, live up to his uh, to his role, and that's why I have to say this Pokemon again. It's the worst Pokemon you can bring to a uh, terror raid. The next Pokemon is uh, is Mew. The thing is with Mew again. We had an entire discussion again today, like. Is Mew a good Pokemon to bring? It, it can learn every attack in the game. It could be good as a support Pokemon. But the problem with the Mew, it, it, it's it's just not that Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's just not that Pokemon. You know, rather than bringing a Mew, I would rather bring a Mew to or something else. And with that said, guys, Mew defeated Mewtwo. You know, if you saw my streams, Mew actually beat Mewtwo and it was a a viable Pokemon to bring to this terror raid so that's why I'm putting it in a uh, really really high uh, spot A tier 
and uh, not only that it, it can learn any attack in the uh, in the game as long as it's a tm you know what i mean and with that said it cannot learn screech because screech is not a tm move and for example if, if it could have learned screech i would have probably put it in s tier but the fact that it cannot learn uh, attacks like screech and and stuff like that unfortunately i have to put it in the uh, a tier Next one is the uh, Heatran. Uh, the Heatran we used against... Uh, I forgot, but we used this against a 7-star uh, Terror Raid. And it, it actually did really good. It, it stood its ground. It, it uh, did a one-hit KO. The only problem with the Heatran, it's not really a raiding Pokemon. It was really good for that 7-star. But like for the rest of the Terror Raids we, we bring it, it, it's sort of lacking to be really honest. And, and for that reason, guys, I unfortunately have to put this one... I'll put it in B. Just to satisfy everybody in this one. <laughs> Next one, guys, is the uh, Mag uh, Magnezone. And the uh, Magnezone is a Pokemon you should bring if you don't have the Golden Go. And, and what I mean, the uh, Magnezone is a really good Pokemon for uh, terror rating. But if you have a Goldengo trained, uh, because uh, the Magma Zone and the Goldengo basically need the same training. They're uh, both trained 252 uh, special defense. They both are steel type. They're both getting uh, powered by the uh, Berserker. But uh, yeah, Mega Train has 100% uh, accuracy uh, instead of the uh, steel beam that the uh, Magma Zone is uh, using and the Goldengo. Uh, has a higher uh, base attack on the attack rather than the uh, uh, steel beam. So for that reason, uh, you know that I would rather be bringing a Goldengo rather than a Maglazone. I would be putting it in A. It's not a bad Pokemon by any means necessary. It's actually a really really good Pokemon. But if you have the Goldengo, I would recommend bringing the Goldengo. Next one is the uh, Charizard. Uh, a Charizard. It, it's the same like the uh, Ursaluna. Uh, and I forgot another Pokemon, I think. Oh yeah, I don't have it here, the uh, Azumarill. Um, it, it's a Belly Drum Pokemon. So it's a Pokemon that uses Belly Drum to get to that uh, plus six. And then basically it's a, it's a beast. The only problem with the uh, Charizard, it, it, sometimes it gets a little bit too low. Where when your opponent does a, a attack, it knocks out the uh, Charizard. So, so to prevent that, what we usually do is, is give it the Citrus Berry. Just to give it that uh, survivability and then you're thinking hey yeah you're giving it to the azumarill as well the only reason why we're giving a, a citrus berry to the azumarill is just to free up his uh, his uh, item slot so that the uh, uranguru can pass its item to that uh, pokemon i would rather give charizard something different that would benefit him but the fact that that he he's a little bit squishy to say it in that way he's a little bit squishy and a lot of times he, he gets knocked out after the uh, belly drum and because of that uh yeah because of that the fact that, that he can't survive most uh, uh most uh terror raids i will be putting him in a it's still a pokemon that does a lot of damage you know if you're going in with uh, a belly drum and you let a umbreon or a coridon set up the sun for you that's another uh, 0.5 on your uh, flare blitz uh, it's such a massive damage for the uh, charizard but, but the fact that it's sometimes a little bit too dangerous, you know what I mean, uh, that, that it, it does get knocked out sometimes by, by attacks that usually wouldn't knock out a, a, a Ursaluna, you know what I mean? They do get, they do uh, knock the Charizard out. If it had a little bit more survivability, I would have been putting it in S tier, but the fact that it doesn't have that survivability, unfortunately, I will leave it in the uh, A tier. The next Pokemon is uh, Sandy Sharks. Sandy Sharks, we just started using like uh, two or three days ago. And why are we using the Sandy Shark? It can learn Screech and it can learn uh, Electric Terrain. Then you think, uh, okay. <laughs> the reason why this Pokemon is really good is for using this one to, uh, to Herb Farm. So like when you have a Dandanzo or a Pokemon that is uh, that, that uses Sleep in the first turn, it's really good to have Sandy Shock instead of like starting off with a Screech, just start off with a uh, with an electric terrain. And just making sure that the rest of your uh, teammates don't don't fall asleep. You know what I mean? 
the only uh, bad thing or the downside to uh, to Sanjak, it doesn't have any other uh, uh, a good uh, support uh, attacks and because it, it, it only uh, is good for that electric terrain and screech I will be putting it uh, really really low on the list I will be I'm thinking about S tier but since the fact that, that it's keeping everybody awake in the team you know how uh, how awful uh, what's it called again uh, that attacks that makes you drowsy so it doesn't put you to sleep but you have to wait an extra turn before you get uh, before you get put to sleep and i find that attack a little bit of a tease you know you're gonna be put to sleep but not now next turn you know what i mean and you know you're gonna go to sleep the next turn and that puts such a huge uh, stress on you you know what is the next move you're gonna use what, what is the next attack you're gonna do because you only have one move before you uh, go to sleep and uh, yeah that's where the uh, sandy shot comes in with the uh, electric terrain the fact that he can keep his teammates awake makes him a really really great uh, support the last pokemon on the list i'm actually still missing the azumarill that sorry i got sorry i just had to close uh, i just had to grab three more two more pokemon that uh, i forgot to uh, put in i still have the arceus azumarill and the overquill so the uh, first one guys the uh, arceus uh... The Arceus is a decent, decent uh, array Pokemon. It's not going to do a one hit. It's not a Pokemon that, that, that I would recommend people bringing to my uh, to my Terror Raids. So the fact that, that it can power itself up, I will put it in, a, you know what, this is actually a D, D worst Pokemon to bring. Uh, I'm afraid Arceus might smite me, so let me put it back in C. <laughs> So yeah, C tier Pokemon. The next one, guys, and it was the last spot I was saving. It's the Azumarill. The Azumarill is one of my favorite Pokemon in uh, Terror Raid. It, it, it's it's a small Pokemon that does massive damage. It looks cute. It has a really uh, cool uh, shiny color. And uh, yeah, this is another uh, S tier, guys. This is just like the uh, Ursuluna and the Charizard. It's a belly drum Pokemon. So it does turn one belly drum and then it goes in with the attack uh, liquidation or play rough, I think. And uh, yeah, the, the Azumarill, when we bring it to the part that it's weak to, I've never seen it fail. Like if it has uh, two or three screeches with, with belly drum and then like uh, it, it consumes its... Uh, it consumes its uh, citrus berry and it gets a, a choice pack uh, or a choice band sent by uh, Uranguru. It's always a one hit, you know, it, it's always a one hit uh, a KO. And that brings us to the last Pokemon on the list, the Overquill. Tom, tom, tom. The Overquill, I would usually put in the worst Pokemons. It, it, it doesn't have anything to power up other Pokemons. It, it, it's not a very powerful Pokemon. But it is a Pokemon that I use for my PvP team. And where I use actually Quellfish for my uh, PvP team. And uh, because it's a Pokemon that I use in PvP, I'm just going to put it in C rather than D. You know what I mean? And uh, there is something else that this Overquill actually did during the Mewtwo raid, which gives it an extra spot in my heart. It actually helped us to uh, to do a one-hit strat against the Mewtwo. And since this this guy over here helped us do that one-hit strat, I'm gonna raise him one more spot. It's not a Pokemon you should be bringing tomorrow to the Terror Raids, telling me, hey, you said Overkill was a B, so I'm gonna bring this one. No, guys, please don't. <laughs> it's actually still still a really, really bad Pokemon. But it has one good ability, and that's the ability Acupressure. Was it Acupressure or... Yeah, I think I'm saying it correct. Acupressure... Yeah, am I saying... Yeah, Acupressure. And what Acupressure does, it, it gives plus two to, to a Pokemon. But like how we defeated uh, Mewtwo this time, we actually brought our own Mewtwo. And we were just constantly using Acupressure on, on Mewtwo. Giving him that plus two, plus two, plus two every turn. And then after a while, he had plus six in all his stats. And that's when uh, Mewtwo went in with uh, with the uh, attack. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, stored power. Stored power does uh, uh, more damage depending on, on how much more uh, your abilities are powered. 
Well, if you have all abilities at uh, plus six, you basically have a base uh, base damage of 580 on the Mewtwo, and that's what makes the uh, Overquill so good. It's not a it's not a tier A or a tier S uh, support. It's not even a B a, a, a tier B Pokemon. It's it's actually a, a tier C. As I said, it, it helped us in a major, major, major way against uh, against uh, Mewtwo. And the fact that it stood its ground, it, it helped us out, uh, boost uh, Mewtwo to that uh, plus 6 on all his stats. Definitely gives it a, uh, a place in the uh, B tier. And that was the entire list, guys. I think I'm still missing a couple of Pokemon. I can't, uh, I can't think uh, of them out of the top of my head. If you know more Pokemon that I missed that, that we are using for Terror Raid uh, when we're when we're raiding, or a Pokemon that, that you are using if you're not raiding with us, Pokemon that you bring to uh, to Terror Raids, let, let us know. Let us know why you are using those Pokemon rather than these Pokemon. And if you don't agree with this list, guys, let me know in the comments. If you think uh, I'm giving Pokemon too much credit or other Pokemon's too little credit, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your opinion is on these uh, Pokemon. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully I will see you all during the next stream to test out these uh, Pokemon uh, in raids. Yeah, guys, thank you very much uh, for, uh, for hanging around uh, until the end of this video. If you're still here, guys, don't forget to drop a like. It will help out uh, a lot with the uh, algorithm. And if this is the first time you're, uh, you're dropping by on my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. That would help me out in a, uh, in a major, major way. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully I will see you during, uh, during the raids. Have a good day. It's still day for me. Take good care of yourself, guys. And as usual, love and peace.